I'll have a funny, f uh, I'll have a very funny setup. So since I was very inspired during my delayed flight, and I recreated uh, the presentation fully. So you're pretty much in the same position as I, as I don't remember what I was to talk about. Almost. So, but then. If I'm speaking here, you hear me? If I'm speaking like that, it's still fine, right? Okay. Okay. Um, the important thing that I have swag, I have buffs, I have pins. So for those with very clever questions, you'll get that. For those without clever questions, you'll get that if you catch me after the talk. Um, I wonder what happens if I click the other one. It still works. Uh, Gamification. So, 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 so it's uh, the first time I'm at PG Connect London, and I love this conference. Everybody is so fresh. Nobody has been to any game dev event since any December. So, like, hey, let's do some business. Let's talk to people. You won't get that anymore in the year. So. And I'm happy to see people here in this room. It's uh, 4 p.m. of the second day, so can I call you sur survivors? <laughs> so thanks for coming, survivors. And uh, um, I don't have budget points, though my presentation might sound like it's going to be technical. It might be. It might feel like that, but I won't have budget points. So that's a free bonus today. Um, let's get acquainted a bit. So um, I'm actually new technologist, have been working with this company since like it was a small startup of 20 people, then uh, went for a year and a half to work on games and Game Inside, and then I got a coolest job title in the world, which is King Evangelist. Um, I think I'm the only person who can both of such a um, job title. I had very, I had lots of coffee um, when re re revamping the slides. So for some reason, I put these random facts in here. Uh, those are very useful. And also, um, I watched Sherlock, and I got inspired by that. And I thought, okay, let's 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 make a small game. So, for example, the joke about cares about fabric softener. Can anybody make sense of this joke? Well, you cannot. You sh you're not supposed to. So let's play Sherlock a bit. If you click a link on this slide, you can get a clue and figure out the joke about fabric softener um, after my talk, not during that. So, um, in fact, I'm talking about a uh, game engine, about game technology, but all I'm going to show today is actually games. We feel that default is as good as games that are made with default are. So default is all about games. We are all about games. And in fact, default was created as a solution for us at King to create games. So everybody from bigger companies knows that, well, as a game development company, you want to make games. You don't want to make technologies. As a big company, you kind of have to be ahead of the industry. You have to innovate. You have to jump on uh, platforms. You have to work with uh, something that major game engines aren't supporting yet. So you create your own engine for each of the games. So you release 100 games, you have 100 game engines that actually are different. You're operating 100 games and maintaining 100 game engines. How fun is that? So it's not fun. That's a secret I'm sharing with you. And we decided to, sh like, to create something we call a common stack, like some shared engine between, between, be between the teams. And share it with the world, and that's uh, a screenshots from some of the games that read, uh, that use a default. Um, one of that is a kin game. Can you find it? Can you find a kin game here? Everybody else is. Um, every, all the other screenshots are from uh, indie games. So default went public class GDC. 
It's less than a year. We have more than 30 games released by the indie community. And let's walk through some of the games and just see, okay, so who uses that? And why? I also talk about what we're doing in year 2017. This is this year, for those who, who are still celebrating. Um, so that's a Finnish studio. Uh, they've just released uh, this game uh, on, for the soft launch. In fact, they're here on the floor, uh, on the first floor. You can find them, talk to them, ask about the uh, default experience. Um, they've just released, so I wanted to um, have this slide first. They're using other game engines as well, but like they just tried default, they felt like okay, that it, it, it's nice, it's worked for us. The, this game is for mobiles, but HTML5 is so easy, they also like have HTML5 builds. Um, cool. And they have a few other games with default in the pipeline. This is a studio from Lithuania. They don't have a booth, but they have Egle. Egle, say hi. hi. <laughs> so the, the, this studio actually also does outsourcing. So we talked to Agle about that. We actually outsource stuff to them. And they're good, can confirm that. Um, so now they have a dedicated unit to default. They're working, uh, like this is the, their flagship default title. Uh, before that, that was a Unity studio. The cool thing about this game that we liked it so much, we actually helped them with the soft launch. So like we, we, we share some king traffic with them in, in, in an isolated environment to, so, so, like, so they test how their game works and then we help a bit with um, mm, some introductions for, the, for them so they're working on a Facebook instant games title. This is what we do with some of the teams who kind of like we feel they're doing right. We have you know some connections, some power, some traffic and that's what we share. This is a game and now let's, let's, let's make it confu confusing. So this game is made by a small team from a city of Minsk. How many people in this audience know what country Minsk is in? One? Okay, this is not funny. I thought this would be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prepared the joke about European capital and all that. Yeah, so you know that. Okay, okay, I prepared a funny joke. I thought so. This is a Flash Studio. Uh, ex very experienced Flash developers who hack this technology like from top to the bottom, from side to side, and then they tried default, and it was like, oh boy, that's what was, uh, that's where we're going, that's what we're switching. Uh, they became like super fanboys of default, started all kind of you know Russian user groups on uh, on Russian Facebooks and all that, and um, they're very good about that. Um, they're also working on uh, instant games, on HTML5, but this is um, mm, their mobile title. And this is something very interesting. This is a studio from Moscow, and uh, those are ex AAA devs. You know, like those who have been working on titles like Skyforge with CryEngine, and then they're like, okay, now I wanna do something on my own. So, they started this game with default, and this might be the first default game on, on, on the Steam. And uh, actually they wanted to release it on mobiles, but then the game grew, and they thought, okay, maybe let's release an HTML5, and then the game grew, and then they were like, okay, this, like, we ended up with a very hardcore indie title, let's release it for, 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 for Steam. And that's what they're working on now. And um, they also became like super fanboys and like started working on tutorials and other stuff, sharing with the community. And we ended up actually contracting them for um, some of the things. And um, that's totally different case. Occasionally we run competitions and you know, with prizes. And uh, this, this is a team from Montenegro 
And they were like, okay, let's let's see, let's try try out the engine and see what we can do with that. And they created this. And immediately launched it on Android, on HTML5, and won the competition actually. And they were like, okay, let's 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 see what can we do with the engine. And then they ended up with a fully fledged game and um, are having fun and positive experience. So we witnessed an, a conversion from someone who didn't care about default to someone who actually fell in love with it. And we have more. We have like for the engine that is that has been publicly available for less than a year, we have 30 plus titles. So like how cool is that? In fact, when we launched last GDC, we thought like, okay, let's see if actually anybody cares, if actually anybody has the same problems that we have. Default to the technology that we're solving the problems that we have, they, they, that we're using to release the games the way we, ha we have to release them. And uh, being from being king, we have to you know to cater to people in China, to people in South America, to people in, in India. And those people, you know, have, like cloning devices. However, we want to deliver the best experience possible as the games that launch fast, work fast, levels load fast, and uh, games work smoothly, and uh, all this backend stuff and all that. Does, do indie developers care about that? And in fact, we figure out they actually do, and they enjoy that. And um, in year 2017, this GDC, exactly a year after the public launch, we're talking about like, okay, we believe the world needs our technology, this is what we're doing now. Before I talk about that, I want to show a very important slide. I'm talking about default, how cool is default, like everybody loves default, but I'm not converting you to default. In fact, I'm talking, um, I'm telling exactly opposite. I'm saying like, feel free to try it. Feel, feel free to see it. We have a very high like entry barrier and this is by design. We want people who understand why are they using default. It's not the tool for everyone. It's not the, uh, like a generic game dev tool. There are engines designed for, you know, I want to create a game, I want the process. Default is a tool to release games, not to create games. It's still the editor, it's still, you know, the runtime, it's still like the whole engine thing. But the goal is not the process, but the result. Now we have a competition. We're gonna bring six teams to GDC, we're gonna fly them, we're gonna accommodate them. We actually paid for the booth for them there. Like, you know, count like flights, accommodation, booth. Whoa, that's a huge budget. Well, we're keen. Oh, no, no thank you yet. No thanks yet, yeah. No, 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 no. So let's, I have, it's funny, it's like blinking in red. It's like, shut up, shut up. No, I won't. I have, um, yeah. So we're announcing um, things that will be actually useful to default users, since we believe the industry needs default at this moment. They're using that. So we, we are releasing and showing at GDC the, um, like, um, runtime extensions and default SDK and also the cloud build for uh, C++ extensions so that you can plug in this small and nice default runtime into whatever you want. If you're a quantum physicist and you have, you know, like Fortran library and want to kind of display something, well, plug it into default and you're fine. Or if you want to attach some very fancy um, admediation platform, like you're fine. If you want to strip out our physics library and plug in your own, you're fine, do that. Also, we're sh releasing the new editor for those, do we have default users in this room? We have one. So uh, this guy enjoys um, default editor, which is a 
high from 1991, right? It is. So we released a new one, which is actually nice and has extensions. Uh, so you can customize it the way you want, the way your team wants. With that, I mean, like, we get people who are gonna extend the editor and the runtime and do the plugins and do the libraries. What, do, what are they going to do next? Well, share that. So, we're announcing and showing and releasing in that sequence a kind of a dev blocks. Imagine that uh, what you have, like, the same place you use to share the, the progress of your game. And HTML5 is kind of native citizen in default. You just click the button. Even if you're working on a mobile game, you click, you click the button, you have HTML5 version. You share that within the dev logs. And people browse that and see that and play a game instantly, immediately in the browser. It all just works. And this is also where you share your extensions and libraries and everybody. And this is just works nice. And what does it mean if someone shares the library? Mm, maybe they want to sell that. Well, maybe. And we just feel that we're not doing an SSR, we're doing this community thing. So people who share, who gonna share their stuff, will be able to get 100% of revenue for that. Well, we're very fine with that. Also, um, concept of life updates. It's a long shot, but we're almost there. We should be there at GDC because like, we have a talk and a demo of that. So we have to deliver. The idea is that you publish a game to you know, Android, iOS, HTML5, and then you know, there is a pumpkin day or a Christmas day, and then you have to create, uh, to, to update your content with pumpkins or you know, the green guys. Or... The idea is that you update once the content, which is on the cloud, and the game clients, like the content is shared across different platforms. So the same content is shared between iOS, Android, and HTML5. That's what we're doing, we call it live updates. And it's, it's, it's much more to that. But I don't have time for it now. <laughs> and also we're announcing the first major partnership. I won't spoil the secret, but it's groundbreaking, I'm telling you. Now, we have 40, 47 seconds for questions. And I have this. You want to earn that, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you'll have to catch me and uh, smuggle the stuff. Any questions? Any questions? Can we get that? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. You can ask about the weather. That works. <laughs> What's the fabric softener? Fabric softener. <laughs> well, fabric softener. You should um, bum, 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 bum. You should play Sherlock. Click a link on the slide to figure out the joke about fabric softener. <laughs> Come on, watch Sherlock or get inspired like from, from, from the term. It's very easy. Come on, how there is a single link on the slide. You don't, you don't need to underline the link to, to, to be the link. I mean, this is easy. I trust in you. I believe you. It's, it's, it's so easy. Is it King's Is it your format? I guess that's the, 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 the most interesting. I mean, like, just check my Twitter, okay, people? 